the unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. The unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability, the unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability, the unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability, the unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability, the unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. Derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. Derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. Derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. The unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge, to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge, to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge, to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge, to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things that can be used to do such wonderful things that can be used to do such wonderful things that can be used to do such wonderful things that can be used to do such wonderful things Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things. And we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge, we can do things with its results, such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species. And we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge, and we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge and we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge and we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge and we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge we can do things with its results 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 such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species and we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge we can do things with its results such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species and we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge we can do things with its results such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Science may allow us to do things, but we can assess its contribution to sustainability only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions. 
science may allow us to do things 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 but we can assess its contribution to sustainability 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 only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions 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 Science may allow us to do things but we can assess its contribution to sustainability only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions. Science may allow us to do things but we can assess its contribution to sustainability only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world, when in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world, when in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. When in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. When in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. When in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. When in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world. When in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world. When in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem. The unquestioned assumption that any and all scientific knowledge and associated technology contributes to sustainability derives from faith in the importance of objective knowledge for solving global problems. Scientists obtain power and become the priests of our era to the extent that they provide a special form of knowledge that can be used to do such wonderful things. And we often consider that the final test of scientific knowledge we can do things with its results, such as applying it to reverse the decline of an endangered species. Regardless, we know now that the linear view of the relation between science and social outcomes is flawed. Science may allow us to do things, but we can assess its contribution to sustainability only by incorporating broader contextual and socio-ecological questions. We typically think of sustainability as doing something out there in the world, when in fact we may need to first reassess the way we are setting the problem.